Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Dirty Dirty coming at you with another Destiny 2 weapon review. Th this time it is a legendary auto rifle that is acquired from random drops from the gunsmith. The Half Dan D. Now this thing hits like a Mack truck. And for those of you who are wondering what the D stands for in Half Dan D, well it's Half Tan Dirty. Because it will do you dirty if you get them headshots. Which, to be honest with you, is not a guarantee. It's got a lot of recoil to it, but it's a lot of fun to use. And I love melting Midas at range with an auto rifle. And the Half Dan D, Half Dan D Dirty can get that job done. Alright, let's dive into the stats of the Half Dan D Haki Legendary Auto Rifle. The caption reads, Your name will ring out. Your deeds will resound forever. All right, Bungie, that's <laughs> that's corny as hell. All right, personally, I like the looks of it. It's got a worn look to it, like it's it's seen some action. Uh, looks like a battle-hardened combat rifle. Um, it actually looks similar to something today. Uh, the Sig 5.56. It's almost an exact copy down to the gas tube. I just threw on my uh, sexy new Marnicky shader. Um, by far the best sh shader in the game, in my opinion. Uh, I think Bungie did a phenomenal job on adding metallic colors to the shaders. It actually looks like some kind of gold. Um, there's, actually, there's some silver out there. Um, well done, Bungie. Well done. All right, let's get into the perk tree. High impact frame, slow firing, and high damage. This weapon is more accurate when stationary and aiming down the sights. Uh, the sights, J post, agile post sight, short zoom, greatly increases handling speed, slightly increases range, SD thermal scope, Hockey thermal injury scope, medium zoom, highlights enemy targets, increases range. Now if you look to the right, uh, you see it increases handling, so I'd strongly recommend using the uh, GA post. Uh, one of this weapon's Achilles heels is its recoil. Um, so anything you can do to minimize the impact of handling and stability, I would definitely recommend. Alright, tactical mag. This weapon has multiple tactical improvements, slightly increases stability, increases reload speed, slightly increases magazine size. And then armor piercing rounds. Rounds can cause extra damage to combatants, shields, in over-penetrate targets. Slightly increases range. Now I'm not a Destiny uh, stat nerd. I'm not really sure what armor piercing rounds do, uh, is it how different it is from high caliber rounds, but Again, it decreases stability, and you need all the stability you can get on the Hockey Half Dan D. So I definitely go with Tactical Mag on this one. Um, and then the last perk is Outlaw Trait. Uh, precision kills greatly decrease reload time. If you're like me and, and OCD about reloading after every time you kill somebody, um, this, this this perk comes in happy, comes in handy, and you won't be caught with your pants down in a gunfight. All right, let's take the half dandy into the crucible and let's uh, watch this thing in action. All right, get some Iron Banner gameplay in. I see you there, guy. Break the range. Uh, double play. I'll take it. All right, cap in the zone. Watch my crappy grenade. And get wrecked. So when half the he's firing, it's actually saying wreck, 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 wreck. Listen to it carefully. Wreck, 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 wreck. You're wreck. 25 damage. Perking outlaw. I'm an outlaw. You're dead. Sound tactics and improvisation that I've not seen since I caught. Anybody else think Saladin sounds like a uh, Chester? Creepy monster guy. That's right. Outlaw perk. Activate. Your lead grows sharp. Cap and C. Wrecking him. Keep shooting. I knew he was going to pop out. He's an idiot. Yep. Popped out. Switch to my secondary and wreck. Cap was over my battle buddy. 
Pulse Your grenade. Got him. Combined fire. That's, hey, Destiny 2 is all about the team shot, baby. Which is interesting why it is like that now. I don't know why in Destiny 1 people didn't think about team shotting or wasn't that powerful. Or maybe it's because people aren't getting wrecked by sniper rifles. I tend to think it's the latter. I think sniper rifles kept the team shot in check. And now that's uh, it's harder to get sniper rifle ammo, um, team shot is way more prevalent in uh, D2. That's my theory anyways. Alright, now we're going to see one of the limitations of the half dandy. So this guy's got a three round burst sidearm. Um, you're not going to win that confrontation that closely with his weapon on a consistent basis. Just not going to happen right now in DT the way the meta set up. This right here is optimal range for the half dandy. Titan skate. Love me some Titan skate. Alright, this guy's popped golden gun. Got a couple shots in him. Pre shooting in the corner, knew he's going to push. Um, in D2, kinetic. Ammo doesn't really mean much, so you might as well shoot early and often. And if you can appreciate a corner, a guy runs you know, runs out behind the corner, you can get a couple rounds in him, and they'll give you the slight advantage. All right, this guy's what is he doing? Is he hiding? <laughs> uh, you can hide, but you're only gonna die like a bitch. All right, All right. another uh, prime example of optimal range for the half to ND. Zone A lost. Your opponent has a power. Uh, my team is garbage, by the way. I, I, honestly, guys, in, in control, you, you, you need to get two zones. Worry about two zones. Don't worry about the other one, and you'll win 90% of the time. Right, team shot for the win. That dude hit me with a freaking throwing knife. <laughs> That's a good throw. Get wrecked by uh, Nova Bomb. This jackass up there is in the Nova Bomb for some reason. Right, sure why. This guy had a grenade launcher. And again, optimal range for the half to ND. One minute remains. Uh, die Titan. Nothing can stop you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes my gameplay footage of the half to ND in the Crucible. Uh, my final thoughts, it's, it's a fun weapon to use. Uh, it sounds awesome. It looks awesome. It's a cool idea. But it's not very practical in a crucible. Um, I wouldn't use it in trials. Uh, maybe if you're a better player than me, you, you might do well with it. I just think the recoil is just too much to handle at, at the at this current time, and it doesn't fit the uh, 450 rounds per minute auto rifle meta that's currently plaguing the crucible. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Uh, the dirty dirty is out. It's